today I filmed this look for you. I wanted to do another spring look. I decided to go with a purple eye today and a pink lip. I actually got all of my colors from this Wet n Wild palette. It is called Petal Pusher and I think this is like $2.99 or $3.99 so it's a really really affordable look and I just kept it really simple so you can wear it during the daytime as well and I don't know I think it's really cute so I just wanted to do something a little for springtime since the weather is getting gorgeous out lately and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so let's just get started. So first things first you want to start off with your favorite eyeshadow primer. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion and I'm going to put this all over my lid and up onto my brow bone. Now for shadows I'm using this Wet n Wild palette called Petal Pusher and I'm picking up this light purple color and it's a pretty matte color. And I'm just going to use a flat shader brush and put this all over my eyelid. Now going back into the Wet n Wild palette, I'm picking up this kind of sparkly like eggplant shade of purple. And I'm using a small eye shader brush to put that on the outer half of my eyelid. Now here I'm just using my favorite blending brush to make sure everything's blended out around the edges and where those two colors meet. Again back into the same palette I'm using a more grape color, this is a little deeper color and I'm going to use a precise blending brush and put this on my outer V and bring it up into my crease to really define my crease in the outer half of my eyelid. And as you can see, I'm just kind of using this blush to also blend as I go. Now again, using a bigger blending brush, I'm just making sure everything is really blended out. Now going into the same palette for the last time, I'm picking up this really pale purple color. It really almost looks white and it's a pretty matte color. And I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight and also take it into my inner tear duct to really highlight the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm just taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color Black is Black. And as always, I'm just going to use this to tight line on my upper lash line. Now for liquid liner today, I'm using this L'Oreal Linear Intense in Blackest Black. And I'm just going to do my normal wing liner. And this stuff is pretty good. It's not my favorite like as you already know the Maybelline Line Stiletto is, but it works. And if you want to see a full video of how I do my wing liner and my tight lining, as always, I will have that video linked down below in the description box. Now this is just my Maybelline eyelash curler that I always use and right now the mascara I'm using is this sample of Clinique's High Impact Mascara in the color black. I'm really liking this right now. So I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes and put on a light coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Now this is the finished eye look so we are ready to move on to the rest of the face. For cheeks today, I'm using this Baked Blush from City Color Cosmetics, and this is in the color Rose. So of course, just going to smile and put that on the apples of my cheeks, taking it back to my hairline and making sure I blend it in where it meets my contour. For my lips today, I'm bringing back an old favorite. This is Revlon's Primrose. It's a really pretty wearable creamy pink color. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that you can get some use out of it. Please comment down below if you have any questions or anything to say. Thumbs up this video if you like it and please subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye! Mwah.